Hi guys, Amber here for Talk To Me Tuesday for Tuesday, February 2nd, 2016. Um, right now, I feel like beating my head against the wall, and that's because I have lost count of the number of times I've tried to film this, but we are definitely into the high teens. Um, and as you notice, I'm in my bedroom rather than in my craft room like I usually film. And that's because my computer battery is dying and it wasn't going to work. So I came in here to try and film. And what I remembered is that I don't really like filming in my bedroom anymore. And that's because I pay far too much attention to what's going on behind me. And I see shadows behind me and, um, on the ceiling. And it's, it's just me moving. But it's kind of creeping me out. Um, so, maybe let's talk about not creeping me out and talk about fabric-y things and crafty things and, oh my god, what is my life, right? So, Monday, Jennifer released her newest pattern for the My Favorite Things block of the month and we got buttons. So, here is my six-inch block. As a quick reminder, I'm using what's left over of my Stonehenge, which I had a couple yards of that, and Fairy Frost for my 6 inch blocks. For my 12 inch blocks, I'm using Moda Crackle and Stonehenge. So I got some bright, colorful buttons. So those came out absolutely gorgeous and I really really like them and once I get done filming I gotta put them away what else um no real progress made on cleaning my rooms and that's because I've been working on other stuff and getting ready for my mom's birthday um but too I did talk to my sister last week about when she's coming to visit me because I really want her help with doing some of the work in my room um, I can watch a lot of videos about how to do things but when it comes to really using tools while I don't mind doing them I really need to be shown one-on-one -on -one so I can ask questions while I'm doing it um, and so she's talking about coming to visit in June so that means I have to wait a few months but in the meantime I can get some stuff done so I've been making myself some lists to see uh, what I need to do and writing down ideas for how I want to move things around and where I'm going to put stuff and if I need to measure something or move something or get rid of something to give it to this person kind of things. So that's been, I won't go right to fun, but it, it's been interesting to do. Um, Saturday was my mom's birthday and we did celebrate it in high style. We went out and got um, pedicures. We ran an errand or two that we had to get done. We got Starbucks in the morning. We went to a nice lunch at one of my mom's favorite places. We did some shopping. I gave her her gifts. And as the afternoon kind of wore on, we were going to go to a couple other places. Um, I don't remember from last week if I decided... Um, to not go to the one fabric shop. Um, the, the fabric shop that's like 45 minutes away from me was having this big sale last week and um, I talked to my mom about it and she was actually interested in going mostly because she knows I really like going to that place and we don't go very often like maybe once a year and it, it just might be nice to go. Problem is is when this place has a sale it is so tightly packed with fabric that having more than a couple people in the shop at the same time you are makes it really, really difficult to get any shopping done. So, I kind of said no to doing that. I figure we'll go in a couple of months when it's closer to my birthday when it actually makes sense to go to a fabric store. Um, but one of the places we did decide to go to is my mom wanted to go to this plant nursery because I had heard somewhere that this place had some stuff for fairy gardens, which my mom is trying to build a fairy garden right now. Unfortunately, we got to the place and they were closed for winter break, which means no fairy garden building. 
that's fine. But we happen to be about five minutes from the local fabric shop that I tried to go to and hadn't been to for a couple months. Unfortunately, that fabric shop is starting to become a waste of time for me. They have a lot of beautiful fabrics, I'm not going to lie, but they don't have my style of fabrics. I walked in, I didn't have anything I needed to buy, I didn't have anything I was looking for, and really they didn't have anything that captured my attention. I didn't find any Moda Marbles, Moda Concretes, Moda Swirls, Moda um, Crackles. I think they have one Moda Dots that I noticed. And I do know they have Moda Fabric, just not what I was looking for. Um, they don't carry Fairy Frost anymore, it seems. Uh, I did find a few bolts of Pearlescent, which is from Timeless Treasure, which kind of looks like Fairy Frost if you're not paying attention. But it's, it's just not as very frost to me. Um, they didn't have any, I mean, they had about 12 bolts of Stonehenge, which is more than some of the other shops have. But either I had the print already or it was a print I didn't want. So I ended up leaving there without buying anything. And we were going to go to this other place um, that my mom wanted to go to. And she asked me if I wanted to go out to Peddler's Way, which is the one that's about 25 minutes from me, um, just across the river. And I wasn't going to say no if she wanted to go. So we ended up going, and I realized later that kind of the reason my mom wanted to go was because she wanted to show off her birthday gift. So she got to do that. I got to make a purchase. And what I ended up buying was I got three half yards of Moda Crackle in these colors and then I purchased one yard of this reddish color it's like a brick red it's really nice it came out really gorgeous um, and I had a coupon which I thought was for 15% off turns out it was for $15 off good deal so there's that. Um, for anybody who's watched Vanda's Talk to Me Tuesday this week, she mentioned at the end that I had sent her some chocolate and she didn't have any left. What it was was these Reese's Hearts, um, which are different than the ones that you can buy individually plastic wrapped. Um, they're smaller and honestly they have a better peanut butter texture to them. Not that I'm going to complain about peanut butter cups. I love all peanut butter cups. But these were really really good um so i do have some video to insert and i'm going to put that in when i get done talking hopefully um i have a couple videos to insert talking about my mom's gift and we'll see what you guys think so i hope you guys have a good and crafty week I hope you guys get lots of stuff done. I'm wishing the same for myself because I have Thursday off and I'm hoping I can get something done and still laying in bed reading. And I will talk to you guys next week. Enjoy! Hi guys, Amber here from the past coming to you with a special super secret project that I just finished. Um, notice the change in venue from last week. I actually ran back to my room, plugged in my laptop so that I could film this for you guys so I didn't forget. Um, I got a super special email um, about, well it'll be two weeks for your time now, uh, telling me that I was getting a package in the mail and so when it arrived at my house I actually left work to go home and get it so it didn't sit on the porch all day. That super special email was an email from Shannon of Rock Creek Quilts letting me know that my mom's quilt was done and she was sending it back home. So I went home and got it the day it arrived so that I could start working on sewing down the binding and get it all ready for my mom's birthday. As far as I know, my mom has no idea that it's done. I haven't even mentioned the PODs in a couple of months because I don't want her bugging me thinking it's time to get them back. I kind of leave it open-ended. Um, so she hasn't really mentioned it so as far as i know she has no idea that this has come back so uh -huh. 
want to show you guys some of the features of it uh, because I'm not going to be able to show it to you guys fully except in pictures. Um, so this is the backing and it's actually upside down. Um, but you can see the gorgeous work that Shannon did. And then I just love how the binding ended up working out. Um, for her binding we used strips of Stonehenge and I just kind of scrapped it together as you can see like right here and then I got it all tacked down Thursday and Friday of last week but, um, here you can see just what a gorgeous job she did here. and I am just completely overwhelmed I'm super excited to give it to her on Saturday my plan is to film her actually opening it because, uh, like I said, as far as I know, she has no idea. So she'll be really surprised and really pleased. And if she allows me to, I might try and show you guys some of that next week. Um, but that's it. So